I don't know if you can see me, my uh, phone's saying preview not supported, but uh, back in the garage, I'm going to um, try and get cracking on. I went and picked up some CO2 and argon mix um, gas yesterday. Um, so I'm going to do one or two welds with the old gas and then I'm going to swap on to the new gas and see if that makes a difference. We're going to keep, keep the settings the same as yesterday, so we're on... Um, wire speeds at six, voltage is at four, and we'll just see um, see what's going on. went a bit funny then so looks like we're back on so let's have a look let's see. we've got a bit to do in here which is a bit tricky let's see if that works of uphill. I think part of the problem with me um, blowing holes yesterday was obviously in welding thicker stuff to thinner stuff. You can see on the edge of this hole there, the previous owner's not drilled very well. It's, um, it's only thin, thin metal this bit. It's the same up here, so these bits are quite tricky. When we get onto the sides, We've got a similar issue around the turret. The turret's like mil th three quarters of a mil thick, and the other stuff's you know, quarter of a mil, half a mil sort of thing. So we've got a similar issue there. And then when we get onto some of the other stuff, it shouldn't be too bad. So if we can practice on this where it's sort of out of the way, um, it should be a little bit better, hopefully, when we get onto this other stuff. So, um, let's have a look. No changes other than the gas. See if that makes any difference. What a difference that makes. I'm going to do this other one and see if that was just a fluke. Um, but you'd be really interested to see that I've not changed anything. But um, when I was doing that one, I dialed the, wire, the voltage back to it's about three and a half, and the wire speed's at five. And we're still getting very pitty, messy welds. That. I might get a job with if I carried on doing stuff like that. Let's see if that was just beginner's luck.
and that's the difference gas makes. So there we go, there's, there's an invaluable lesson for us all. Um, mostly myself, so obviously these videos aren't coming out like straight away. Um, there's what experimenting does. Apologies for the glare and what have you, but um, I've just pulled you, so I've sort of cobbled together this old, uh, I had a laser level years ago, and I had this tripod, and I've kept it ever since, I modified it to take a camera bracket on the top, I mean, for what a cheap one costs, I should really get a proper one, but anyway, cobbled that, so that's what I've been using um, for the, the last, this video and the last one, I think, um, rather than just setting the camera down in places. Anyway, um, I'll just show you quickly, so that's what I was using, that's what I've swapped to, so this is 60 litres at 165 bar, um, and this is 110 litres um, at, does it say, does it say, there we go, 110 litres at 110 bar, test pressure 165, oh that's test pressure on there, but so 60, 60 litres at 60 bar, 110 at 110. So that's what I have been using, and that's what I've just swapped to. And these are the types of welds that we've been getting with just argon, just pure argon. Look at the difference in that. So switching to a, uh, a blended gas, um, has made a massive difference. I'm kind of annoyed with myself that <laughs> I didn't order one of them to start with, but you know what, you live and learn. Um, that's given me a bit more confidence and perked me up a bit. I might I might go over some of these welds at the top that you know you're actually going to see um, and see if I can get them to smooth out a bit. But that's given me a lot of confidence now to get cracking on with the sides here. So. As I sort of mentioned in the last video, we've got um, some, all in French, and I don't read French, but some schematics of how the like, S1600s, um, rally cars and race cars were all sort of prepared. You can download these um, off the internet. Um, if anybody's interested, leave us a comment and I can, uh, I can dig, out, dig out where they're from. Um, I think they're on a person's website, so I'll obviously ask for permission before blowing up their website with all the four robot comments that I get. Anyway, um, so it, it shows on there like where your stitch welds need to go, um, and then obviously on the sides gives you the locations for stitch welding, the, the turrets and surrounding areas, engine mounts and turrets. So that's what I've been going off. Um, I did that on the Red one of uh, red saxo that I used to have as well. Um, let me just did that on the red saxo that I used to have as well. Um, did it exactly the same. Um, so I know it it works, uh, and the rest of it's not too bad to get to. So we've got a couple of bits down down the back here. They're a little bit tricky. That one's not too bad. And as I said, this top section of the turret is uh, like one mil steel. And then all this is pressed uh, half mil or quarter mil mil steel. So um, this then again, is the, the engine mounts, the thicker stuff again. So got well, a little bit, but as I say, from doing these last two da welds down here, it's given me a lot more confidence that these actually will look really good. And then what I've done it this way, so is that by the time I've done all the rest, I've had a bit of practice. I should be able to get these patch pa panels welded in. I want these to be able to, I want to be able to grind these back and you not even notice that there was a massive gaping hole there, that's the plan. So uh, I think I might go and have a quick celebratory brew um, and then get cracking on with the rest of it. So I think we'll probably do like a weld time lapse of the next lot um, and then I'll come back and I'll, we'll go through a few bits. But yeah massive difference that that gas has made, massive difference. Okay so I'm going to quickly just do this um, strut leg section down there.
this is so much better. So much better. speed for this back section but that was I had to take the time on that bit that it was a bit slow so put the wire speed a little bit from the back here. Let's see if we can get So I'll just take a minute, I've got a bit of a sweat on. Um, take a minute and get the door open and vent out some of the smoke. Obviously uh, forgot to clean off all the crap on the other side. I'm a bit right. I'm so much happier with these welds now with that gas. Like I say, that bot, that regulator and the push fit fitting, I think the push fit fitting is definitely leaking, so I may have a look and see if I can just get get a better fitting for the for the regulator that will run a bigger hose through something maybe that will make it better I don't know there's got to be a better solution I've never liked push fit fittings anyway I mean I, I don't really do pipes or more wires but I've never been a fan of them I don't know I don't see how it seals properly which obviously it's not doing anyway so the welds themselves looking loads better as you, you, know, you can remember from the last videos are very pitted very just pigeon crap aren't they so this is what we've got now so we've got those couple down down the back there and those three above over the top that one's a little bit yeah probably wants grinding back and a little bit more penetration across the top there but I mean these here to me they look spot on that one's not fantastic but these in here again not pretty but once the ground back should look alright and then that one there so I've got one to do down here one across the back and one in there um, and then that's that's it for that side see how we get on tomorrow uh, again thanks for watching and um, comments preferably not from bots um, if you watch this just even if you get to this bit just give us a like and a, and a and a message it's uh, it's all appreciated it's, not, it's nice to know I'm not doing this and talking to myself who knows maybe I am right. well thanks anyway cheers